One of the mini free games that I've grabbed during the Epic Games giveaways, I decided to try Defense Grid The Awakening after seeing some positive comments online. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. So let's get into it. Defense Grid is a 3D tower defense game, and it's up there in quality with some of the other greats in the tower defense genre. As with any tower defense game, you place towers in certain locations to defend against waves of enemies, in this case aliens, who are trying to attack you. There is a large amount of enemy variety in the game, with flying aliens, summoners, stealth aliens, and there's a good amount of tower variety to go with it, as well as a simple counter system. Some enemies are countered better by certain towers than others. The first thing that makes Defense Grid stand out to me is that it has a lot of modern quality of life and gameplay updates that I've come to expect, or at least hope for, from a modern tower defense game. For example, it has adjustable wave speed, where if you're doing okay, you can speed up the game so you don't have to wait for all your enemies to get cleared. The game also includes checkpoints and saves for each level, which is just, you know, helpful and convenient. In addition to the base campaign, it also has more fun and unique challenge levels, some of which are as simple as fighting harder enemies, and others are much more complex, such as restrictions on the types of towers you can use or the number of towers you can place in the level. It also has a certain feature that I really enjoyed in Warstone TD, and that's levels with customizable paths. Basically, there are certain levels where you can create the lane for the enemy minions to go through. And so you, you can create these fun mazes with your towers that funnel enemies how you want. I think this is a great fresh take on the traditional tower defense games where the enemy paths are set in stone, which gives you more flexibility, more gameplay elements to strategize with. It's also a 3D game, not just in terms of graphics, but also in terms of gameplay. What that means is the map has some verticality to it, which has some interesting implications for line of sight of towers and how they can aim. While I think this is generally a good additional gameplay element, it wasn't always clear to me when certain things were out of line of sight, basically when they could be targeted and when they couldn't, because of that verticality, it was just a little confusing. So sometimes I had towers that were blocked by the terrain when I thought they should be firing at a certain spot. Additionally, within each game, each tower has three levels, the base level, and two upgrades. Some upgrades just increase damage, while others increase damage, range, and firing rate altogether for a single tower. It just depends what tower you're upgrading. It would be nice to have a little more customization here, leading to some more tower variety, but that's a more minor complaint with the game. One thing to note is that there is no real progression across levels, and you also have all the levels unlocked from the start, including the challenge levels, so there's no unlocking process there either. This is nice because you don't have to grind to unlock any towers or unlock any levels. But it also means that there's less to do after completing the base campaign. You can complete challenges that I mentioned earlier, or you can try to do better on each level to get better scores. And as an aside, they do have a leaderboard for those scores, so if you're into that kind of thing, that kind of competition, there's that for you as well. But there is nothing there that really brings together all these levels in the same way there is for games like Bloons Tower Defense or Warstone TD. And finally, there is also a story in the campaign. However, it's very basic and generic. It's also presented a little weirdly because you'll have instances where the narrator mixes these filler lines like shoot the enemy with emotional lines about losing a son, and it's just a weird juxtaposition. But you know, you're probably not playing this game for the story anyway. So what's my verdict on Defense Grid The Awakening? If you're looking for a high quality tower defense game, I would definitely recommend checking it out. It has the quality of life elements, such as adjustable game speed, that I've come to expect and hope for from a modern tower defense game, and it also has some fresh takes with those customizable enemy paths and use of the vertical dimension for things like line of sight. While some other tower defense games do other things better, for example, the cross game progression or multiplayer in games like Blue CD6 aren't really there in Defense Grid, but you really can't go wrong with Defense Grid The Awakening for a fun, short tower defense game. Please like this video to help me on the algorithm, and thanks for watching.